The next installment for my beer box is Huberweiss, makes sense to me, original Hefeweizen beer. Oh, this brewery's been around a long time. 11.60, it's at least a few weeks. Some kind of polar bear, I don't know. Some, or it could just be a regular bear, it's a black and white, grayscale. So there's that, it's kind of hard to read because of the glare, but there's really not a lot to see. So besides the bear on the front, there's like a there's like a drawing of a town or a bunch of buildings. I don't know, something about that is kind of like, check it out, yeah. This can came from my Brewer's Advent Calendar 2017. The box is 24 beers. Uh, they designed it and they say on it, uh, one beer a day from December 1st to 24th costs, I think, $58 for $10. Worked out to a little under $250 beer. Every Hefeweizen I've seen has been year round. I don't know any of them are seasonal. These are all specialty made for the Costco package because all the cans are laid out pretty much the same. 5.6% alcohol. I don't know the bitterness level on it, the IBUs, but being a Hefeweizen, shouldn't be hoppy at all. I have not researched any of the breweries that come from the advent calendar because most of these are hard to find as far as like a website for. Though those I did find had limited details. It's usually the importer's website that has the details on it. And even then they usually don't have that much. Okay, so without knowing anything about this beer, here's what I anticipate. It's gonna be a lighter color. It's a wheat beer, so it probably has at least half of the grains in it, the malts being wheat. Being a German-style Hefeweizen, uh, I'm expecting banana clove. It's gonna be cloudy, because every Hefeweizen is cloudy. A crystal white is not, but a regular one is. I'm anticipating this to be lighter, medium body. Okay, enough talk. Let's drink. There we go, that's the frame. That's a, a little bit very, very cloudy. Thin head, it's, the head's dying down pretty fast. Some could say it's a deep yellow orange. I mean, it depends on the light you look at. Like right here, to me, it looks like a, a, a very light orange. Oh, yeah, soft banana. The signature characteristic of Bavarian hate pigments is banana clove. Okay, well, let's try it now. A little sweet, some soft, noticeable banana on my palate, largely stays on my tongue, a little bit of it tickles the roof of my mouth. Nothing about this beer is hoppy. There is no hop bitterness, no hop bites. I don't know if wheat is in here, but I could maybe get a little tingling of, of wheat flavors. The most dominant flavors are banana, and even that is light. It goes from light banana, and then everything else are the wheat, the sweetness, all the things are even, they're even more subtle. I can almost maybe get a little citrus from it. Orange, citrus, maybe lemon. I can also see how somebody might feel this is grainy or bready from the malt used. That mostly stays in the lower part of my mouth. It just kind of stays on my tongue for a little bit and then just falls away. The banana is a little bit of an aftertaste. It stays around for a little while, but Fairly solid, not thin and watery. I wouldn't call this complex, but it definitely has character to it. I'm gonna try the can now, see how that compares to the glass. All of it's on the lower part of my mouth again. The banana is there. Ooh, that died down awfully quick this time. Light citrus, light banana, a little bit of that grainy note. Now I don't get so much wheat this time. There's an ever so gentle sweetness. Now the citrusy, as I mentioned, that is probably from the hops, would be my first guess. Because there's really no grains, no malts, that are none to be citrusy. And it just kind of grabs onto my tongue, stays there for a while, fades away. The banana sticks are just for a little bit, then it's gone. It's not a complex beer, but there's life in that, it's nice. It's not just, it's not bland. There are no off flavors to it. I don't get diacetyl, DMS, uh, no rubbery plastic, uh, no fuse alcohols, nothing skunked, no sharp tones like chemical flavors. I would buy this again if I could find a, a can or a bottle. You might like this beer, I would recommend it. Here's the can once more. Huber Weiss Original Hey, hey it's I don't really have anything else for this review. I, I think it's a well done beer, even though I've said it's average. All right, well with that, I'm gonna go ahead and finish my beer. Prost.